our energy system's increasingly outdated. It is broken. It's not fit for purpose, which is why we have some of the highest bills in the world. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm the founder of Octopus Energy, and I and my co-founders started this company because we could see ways that you could use technology to drive down the cost of energy, especially as we build more renewables, whilst delivering better service by investing in digitalizing our energy system. Look, one of the key things in today's system is we've kind of added renewables onto a system that was designed you know, really originally mainly for coal. And what that means is we've got enormous numbers of wind farms being built in places where there's not much grid. That means on windy days, those wind farms could generate so much electricity, but instead, because we don't have the grid, they get paid to turn off. Instead of giving that electricity cheaper to local people where we wouldn't need as much grid. Uh, those kind of issues mean that so far in 2025 alone, in the first two and a half months of 2025, our country spent over £300 million uh, paying wind farms to turn off and paying for the gas generation to replace that wasted wind. Octopus and plenty of other people have been advocating for zonal pricing. Typically, those who want to bring bills down for users, that's uh, for families and for businesses. Zonal pricing uh, moves away from a world where our electricity price is set nationally by the highest cost of any generation anywhere in the country to one that's set uh, based on local supply and demand. It will reduce costs everywhere, uh, but especially in those areas that have got renewables, which, by the way, ironically, today often have the highest bills because of our broken system. Moving to this new system, uh, look, there are two main components of our energy bills. Uh, there's the wholesale costs and there's the system costs. Uh, our wholesale costs have been pushed sky high because of our dependence on the global gas market, uh, which has been you know, uh, at incredible levels for the last few years, and that's pushed wholesale prices high. And our system costs have been pushed high and continue to get higher because of the outdated market arrangements. Uh, introducing zonal pricing helps address both. Uh, it'll help bring down wholesale costs because more of the time they will be set by cheap renewables rather than expensive gas. And it helps bring down system costs because we won't be trying to uh, kind of manage this chaotic, inefficient system based on a single national price signal. I cannot tell you how appallingly inefficient and chaotic the electricity market is today. Uh, trying to accommodate, you know, this modern world on that outdated system adds billions to our bills. Interconnectors, that's uh, the, the cables that connect the UK to other countries, flow the wrong way. We have batteries that are charging when they should be discharging. And so much of the time now, they're working against the system instead of for it, because none of them are getting the right signals about what to do when. All these back-end operational uh, details uh, are hugely improved by uh, zonal pricing. That's where we get the £3.7 billion pounds a year saving from. On top of that, as we start to be able to optimise uh, you know, investment decisions, there's the opportunity to save many billions more. High energy bills aren't just terrible for families, but they also hold back businesses. And if we want to unleash growth in the UK, one thing we've got to do is cut energy costs. Octopus was founded to help drive down energy costs, which is why we support these proposals. But we're far from the only ones. Uh, Off Jeb, the regulator, who want to see lower bills. Uh, the energy system catapult, the expert organization designed uh, to work out how you use innovation to improve energy. And the energy system operator, who keep the lights on and know more than anyone how difficult that is without these kind of reforms. Look, some of the companies that oppose this talk about a postcode lottery. First of all, that's nonsense. Energy bills already vary across the entire country. And in fact, uh, perversely, people in the areas that generate the most renewable electricity often have the highest bills. Introducing zonal pricing will help readdress that. You'll still have regional variations, but with 3.7 billion pounds of savings, there's room for everybody to save money, especially those who live in the areas where we generate the most clean energy. Every time governments look at reforming a system, the incumbents who don't like change, because the existing system works very well for them, if not for consumers, Every time this happens, those incumbents threaten, uh, you know, this will damage investment. The reality is it's been done around the world, has never damaged investment. But more important than that, investment in infrastructure that is unproductive isn't investment. 
It's waste. It doesn't drive growth. It's like an anchor, a drag on the economy. Zonal pricing will mean that investments we make into energy going forward will be making our system more productive and that's good for growth. Everyone knows the system is broken. Although for some of those producers, they'll need to work a bit harder uh, to, to work in the new system. Meanwhile, none of them have put an alternative on the table. And this really is the only viable option we have to drive bills down. Our system was built on burning coal. We can't afford a future where it's built on burning money.